Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. So today I'm going to show you how I got this makeup look using the Royal Peach Palette by Kylie. The packaging is so gorgeous. I usually throw away the eyeshadow boxes, but that one's so pretty that I'm going to keep it. So this is what the palette looks like. It just says Kylie in like this rose gold peachy shade. And then when you open it up, you got all these nice peachy, then you got your pops of colors, the purple, the like olive green, that royal blue. It's gorgeous. The only thing that's missing, well, I would say like two shades are missing. One like a highlight shade for like your brow bone and then like a dark brown. But I have those in almost every palette that it's not something I'm like, oh, I need. You know what I mean? I could just grab another palette and use it. So... I wouldn't say that's like a downside or anything. I'm just saying it's kind of missing that in that uh, palette. But um, a lot of a lot of people say like that palette in particular. They compare it to the other peach palette by Too Faced, and I actually have that palette right here. And this palette smells bomb. It smells so nice. Um, these are the shades here. They're definitely different. Too Faced. It's really not the same. Um, it's sim obviously they have similar shades, but the Too Faced obviously has more colors in them. And like I said, they have that highlight shade. They have that dark brown shade that I was talking about that is missing in the Kylie shade, uh, palette. But honestly, I like the Kylie better. Um, the blendability in the Kylie palette is just so much better than the Too Faced and the pigmentation as well. So. If you had to choose out of the two, definitely personal preference, but I would go with this one. Anyways, if you guys want to learn how to get this look, then just keep watching. So first I'm going to prime my eyes with MAC Soft Ochre. This looks like this. And the reason why I prime my eyes before my eyeshadow is because it just makes the shadows more vibrant and stand out even more. It also makes the eyeshadow last even longer. It just cancels out your eyelid color so that way when the shadows go on top, it's more pigmented. Then what I like to do is set the primer with a bone shadow like this. You want to set your whole lid with the shadow like that color I just showed you. So that way the primer is not sticky. Just like you set your concealer with powder, you want to set your primer that way. If I was just to put a shadow over that primer with nothing setting it, then that shadow is just going to stick to that area. And it's not going to blend out so it's really important for you to set that primer first the first color i'm going to take is this light peach shade and i'm blending that in my crease the shade is a little light for me but we're just going to make it work then with this peacher shade i'm going to take that peach shade with this tapered blending brush and put that in my crease but I'm only going from here to the kind of in the middle I'm not bringing it all the way in just stopping like right in the middle so I want this shadow to come out more if that makes sense <laughs> like I want the inner corner to be a little bit more bright so that's why I'm just keeping these shades just on the outer corner I'm going back in with that light peachy shade with that big fluffy brush and just going back and blending everything again it's important to blend after every step so that way your shadows really blended and everything just goes from one color to the next and I'm taking this like more pinky peach shade and with the Kylie brush that comes in with 
the palette I'm gonna use that brush and I actually really like this brush So I'm going to bring that a little bit lower into the outer V as well. So I'm going to start here first and work my way in. I want it a little bit on the lid as well. I'm kind of bringing that in far. I like to make circular motions as I'm blending. We're going back with this fluffy brush and with nothing on it and going ahead and blending everything out lightly. This olive green color. Okay, so I did my eyeliner off camera because I need to be as close as possible to the mirror. So that's why I didn't film that. But now I'm going to prime my face using Professional by Benefit. And with this primer, you really want to press it in your skin so it does fill in those pores. So, I want my skin to be really glowy today, so what I'm going to do, I'm using the Makeup Forever HD foundation today. I'm going to add my Josie Marin Illuminizer into my foundation, kind of show you, that way I get a really glowy look. So if you have any liquid highlighters that you want to use, go ahead and add that into your foundation. So I have like two drops there, and about a pump, mm, that's a lot, but... Maybe like a half a pump, and then I'll mix those in together. So back to the eyes, I'm going to take like a mixture of the two peachy shades and I'm going to put that under my lash line. So for like a pop of inner corner fun, I guess. <laughs> I have like this duo eyeshadow from Revlon I really love it one side has a metallic the other one has a glitter so I have like this I don't know like this olive green glitter and I just want to put that in my tear duct okay so I don't want to wear false lashes today because I just don't want that feeling of a heavy lash on me all day so I'm just going to use this eyelash curler and add some mascara. It's going to go natural lashes today. So for highlight, I'm going to use this highlighting gold bar by Wet n Wild. And this highlight is actually bomb and it was probably like four bucks. So I didn't buy it, my best friend did. Then I spray my whole face with Fix Plus so that way the powders melt to your face so it doesn't look as cakey. So now for lips, I'm going to use like this P2 
peachy melon shade. It's actually called Melon. It's from Jouer. Little mini ones. They're so cute. First, I'm going to line my lips with MAC Oral. <laughs> 